Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through the door we couldn't go through before with our brand spanking new bow that's probably been in the, in the chest for centuries, but it's still new and fresh out of the package. So here we go, next room, and it is another outdoor garden with Mr. Snarly Lips. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna really bother with you though. I do see a song of time block up there. There's a song of time block up there as well. Um, I'm probably gonna have to use those to get around. Probably, maybe. Well, I'll just play the song of time right now and see where this gets me on this block. I have a feeling it's gonna move somewhere lower. Uh, did it? <laughs> I... Woo! I don't know. I think it just moved over to the side. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to look up that way. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! That's what I didn't see before. Well, first, I guess there's this gold skulltula up there. So I'll just grab that token, and now I'll be able to climb right up here. Alright, that makes a lot more sense. Now, does this... If I play the Song of Time here, will that make this block underneath me disappear? It better not. <laughs> nope, doesn't look like it. So that means I should be able to climb right up. I think I can get this one. There we go. Um, we've got normal Skulltula. Platform. Two treasure chests, and there's that mysterious one on the other side. I probably have to play the Song of Time to get over there, but I'm just gonna work on one side at, the, at a time. Uh, just snipe you right off there, and I should just be able to uh, climb right onto the wall. These vines, whenever you see them, you can climb on them. No, wait, 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 is that another balcony up there? If I were to plop off here, I'll be right... Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> And it's a key! I could use that to get in that other room that I couldn't in the last part that I said uh, that I had to go back to the lobby for. Uh, but let's just continue on this path and see how far we can get. Open says me. Mm, got a web. Uh, here's a neat trick that you can do with uh, fire and arrows. What you can do is stand behind the target that you want to hit and put a torch between yourself and the target, excuse me, and just uh, shoot right through it, and it'll light, I mean, shoot right through it with the bow, and it'll light whatever it is on fire. Basically, the, uh, oh, <laughs> the uh, arrow seems to catch on fire despite it going at super high speed, and wait a second, is this... Yeah, this is back in the other room, the one that I said that I would have to burn the webs off over here. But apparently the webs burn themselves off, because remember I jumped across there to get those hearts? Yeah, let's go back. I've already been through this room before. So, bye bye Unless that was like a loop around so I could get back to that room that had the uh, locked door easily. You know, just like a little shortcut of sorts. Uh, I believe this is filled with, yeah, it's filled with, oh, filled with water right now. I'll drain that out later. Okay, what about these blocks? Do these blocks have any significance? They probably do, but, whoa, whoa, whoa. I must see. Maybe I'll be able to make myself a little platform or something. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. That doesn't look like it helps me. <laughs> yeah, that's... I probably gotta access that through a... No, I can't. Um... Hmm. This is a puzzler, I have to say. I'm just gonna take a look around here. Like, maybe I can hook shots something. I didn't think so. <laughs> way, way too far away. Needless to say, I couldn't find anything in that room, so hey, look where we are. <laughs> We're back at that locked room, and uh-oh. 
You taught me about this before, Navi. Was it because I turned off the game before play se- I mean, after play sessions or something like that? No, I will not get attacked by a wall master. I refuse. Okay, so right here, I- Oh no, I can't jump down there. I thought that was a hole at first. I was thinking too much like the other room, basically. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, did this get me anywhere? Did this get... Oh, I didn't mean to jump down! <laughs> that was like the worst fail ever. I was just trying to look around the room there before the wall master got to me. And here's another twisted room here, along with a normal plain old... Well, actually, it's a green bubble, I guess. I thought that was just a nor- oh! There's another one. <laughs> Boink! All bubbles are taken care of the same way, basically, and that's a locked door, so I can't get through there. Lovely! Okay, I'll be able to twist that room later, I'm sure. As for now, I'm going to... hopefully... Pfft, stop jumping all over the place, Link. I would like to get up here before the... wall master gets to me. Okay, that didn't work out in the slightest, and it brings you back to the beginning of the dungeon. See, this was all just to show you what would happen if you got caught by a wall master there. I just thought I would show you that at least once, and show you how to get hit by that spider once again. Back to the room! Okay, this time, let's take care of the wall master properly this time. Watch for the shadow. And... Just lock on and attack it twice. There we go, that's much better. Now let's actually explore this room for real without any pressure from the wall master. <laughs> oh, I can can I jump up to Wait, I hear I hear a case actually. What's what's that hole? <laughs> Seriously, what is this room all about anyway? Was I supposed to have gotten those treasure chests back in that garden room? It's certainly feeling like that, because I don't see any... Like, any other keys around this room, and you know, I have the compass, so... Maybe it was a good thing I went back to the lobby. <laughs> oh, I see! Back in this room with that well. Look at that! There's an eye underwater. Who would have guessed that one? I so I betcha that they put an eye in the other pool on the other side. Ow! Of the uh Oh no wait, this drains out the whole area, excuse me. Oh there's there's the key I need. Ah yes. So that's why it leads me back to the lobby, or I should say the other path led me back to the lobby because of the fact that I would have to go through the rooms again and, you know, because that second key. Hello, Gold Skull to the... I would like your token. Yahoo! That means there's only one left in the dungeon, I think. Because I believe there's five in this dungeon. And yet, this should lead back to the other side of the garden area. Please don't be a Skull to the, thank you. <laughs> Mm, yes. Oh, and I can climb up here, apparently. I never noticed that before. I don't know if that's of assistance to me, though, but I, I can. No, it's of no assistance to me. But yeah, see, this is the other side of the garden. There's those, or I should say there was those hearts up there, and yeah. So I'm going to go back to the locked door. Locked door and progress, here I come! Sorry for all the cutting around lately, but I've got stuff to figure out, obviously. <laughs> so, now we've got the spinny spin room here, and this torch of sorts. Uh, does that stay on when I depress the button? No. <laughs> Wait, now I can't use Deku 6, right? Yeah, I can't use Deku 6. Well, uh, couldn't I just like melt this with Din's fire? Because I've seen that ice when I walked in here, and I'm just like, well, sure, let's try it. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to use the crate! Well, that works. <laughs> yeah, normally you're supposed to put... Oh, wait, that turns the room? Oh, interesting. 
Uh, yeah, you're supposed to put the crate on there and then shoot an arrow from that flame over to that eyeball over there, which would be a little bit trickier than using Din's fire, I suppose. Uh, but this works too, I guess. So that means this room is now flipped around again. I don't see anything else of interest in in that room, so... Just, what the heck happened there? It's like a graphical uh, twitch there or something like that. Anyway. Okay, so back at the floor or wall master room. I bet you I have to jump down that hole. But first, I would like to explore this room at this different angle. So I'm gonna have to take care of you. There we go. Now, is there a room... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to press up. <laughs> this is why I prefer C buttons, man. Okay, look up. And is that... Or is that going to be a... Yeah, there's a door... Um, hmm. It seems like there is multiple pathways that I could go now. Well, let's take the way that I can walk back from first. <laughs> So let's try this one. And wait, wait, wait. Is this the room that I was... Yeah, this is with the Poe sister. Why does it feel like... Oh wait, is it? Yeah, that's the same room. Yeah, because the treasure chest is open. Okay. There's a couple of really identical rooms in the forest temple, so... so I got a little confused. <laughs> but I suppose that's the idea. Anyway, let's jump down the hole now that I know this is the only path that I have in this room. Oh no! Oh no! This is like the most annoying room in the world. See this ceiling? This ceiling right here. It wants to flatten you. So what you gotta do it. Well, okay, yeah, 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 Navi. It's, it's falling down. I seen that, Navi. Now watch for the where the holes are, basically. There's a. I believe there is a Skulltula at each of these holes. So this is ri ridiculously annoying and you can't go into first person mode for whatever reason. I don't understand why. So you actually gotta kill your way through these Skulltulas one at a time before the uh, ceiling falls down on you. So you gotta do these each quite precisely. Oh, it's just so tedious. I remember this from Master Quest because of the fact that it was ridiculously tedious. And what does this switch do? That opens the door, apparently. Whoa! <laughs> and there's a switch here. What does this do? This makes a treasure chest pop out, apparently. And I'm going to try and lure out that... Skulltula again, so I can get hit, hit to shoot, or he can hit him when he flips around. And now I'm gonna attempt to make my way back without taking a hit. Back to that treasure chest and the, the door. Go, 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 wait, 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 it's here, okay. So does that mean I am safe here? I believe I will be. Oh, okay, I, that's why there's two squares here. And more arrows. Uh, it's kind of useless, but at least it's uh, for 100%ing the dungeon, per se. And when this goes up again, I'm just going to take a mad dash and watch for shadows just to get to the other side quickly. Okay, we're good. We are golden. And let's see what's behind this room. Well, this door. Oh, it's up here. So that means I could just, like... Gently flop my way down here and get out. <laughs> I bet you this is a key. I bet you this is a key. Oh, yeah. Now I have to go through that room again, don't I? Wait, I'm able to get up to that room, aren't I? I think because yeah, when you stand when you're standing on a block, it won't move when you play the Song of Time. Okay, that explains it. All right, there's the door, and holy cow! 
It's like I almost got killed in a cutscene. Oh, this is... Okay, I think I'm gonna do this in the next part, because I'm running... Well, I shouldn't say running low on time, I just don't want the parts to run on for too long like they've been doing. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.